handling financial matters in Islam is guided by principles outlined in the Quran and the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Here are some key principles. Handling financial matters in Islam, principles and practices. Islam provides a comprehensive framework for managing financial matters, guided by principles derived from the Quran, the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and scholarly interpretations. These principles encompass ethical conduct, economic justice and social welfare, shaping the way Muslims earn, spend, invest, and donate their wealth. 1. Halal and Haram At the core of Islamic finance is the principle of halal, permissible and haram, forbidden. Muslims are obligated to earn their livelihood through lawful means and avoid sources of income that are prohibited. This includes refraining from engaging in activities such as interest-based transactions, riba, gambling, maysia, selling or consuming alcohol, pork, or other prohibited items, and involvement in unethical or harmful industries. 2. Zakat. Zakat, one of the five pillars of Islam, is a mandatory wealth tax aimed at redistributing wealth and assisting those in need. Muslims who possess wealth above a certain threshold, nisab, are required to give a portion, usually 2.5% of their savings and investments to the poor, the needy, debtors, and other deserving recipients. Zakat fosters social cohesion, compassion, and solidarity within the Muslim community, and serves as a means of purifying one's wealth. 3. Riba, interest. Islam unequivocally prohibits the charging or paying of interest, riba. Riba is seen as exploitative and detrimental to society, as it generates wealth without contributing to productive economic activity and can lead to inequality and debt bondage. Instead of interest-based transactions, Islam encourages profit-sharing arrangements, equity-based financing, and alternative financial instruments that comply with Sharia principles, such as mudaraba, profit-sharing, and musharaka, partnership. Number 4. Investment Ethics Islamic finance promotes ethical investment practices that align with Islamic values and principles. Investments should be made in industries that are beneficial to society and avoid those that are harmful or unethical, such as alcohol, gambling, tobacco, and weapons manufacturing. Additionally, investments should not involve excessive risk or uncertainty, gara, and investors should seek to benefit from their investments in a fair and equitable manner. 5. Contracts and transactions. Contracts and transactions in Islamic finance must adhere to principles of fairness, transparency, and mutual consent. Deception, fraud, coercion, and exploitation are strictly prohibited. Parties entering into financial agreements must fully understand the terms and conditions, and contracts should be free from ambiguity and ambiguity, gara, and speculative transactions, maysia. 6. Sadaqa, voluntary charity. In addition to zakat, Muslims are encouraged to give voluntary charity, sadaqa, as a means of purifying their wealth and helping those in need. Sadaqa can take various forms, including monetary donations, acts of kindness, and volunteering time and expertise. By giving generously, Muslims cultivate a spirit of generosity, compassion, and solidarity with the less fortunate members of society. 7. Planning and budgeting. Islam emphasizes the importance of financial planning and budgeting to ensure responsible use of wealth and provision for one's family and dependents. Muslims are encouraged to live within their means, avoid extravagance and unnecessary expenditure, and prioritize their spending based on their needs and obligations. By planning and budgeting effectively, individuals can achieve financial stability and security while fulfilling their religious duties. Number 8. Debt Management. While Islam discourages debt, Recognizing its potential pitfalls and risks, it acknowledges the necessity of loans in certain situations, such as financing education, purchasing a home, or starting a business. However, debt should be managed responsibly, and efforts should be made to repay debts promptly. Muslims are encouraged to avoid borrowing more than necessary and to seek alternatives to interest-based loans whenever possible. 9. Avoiding extravagance and stinginess. Islam advocates for moderation in spending, discouraging both extravagance and stinginess. Muslims are encouraged to strike a balance between fulfilling their needs and desires, while also being mindful of their obligations to others and to God. By avoiding extravagance, 
individuals can preserve their wealth and resources for more meaningful purposes, such as charitable giving and supporting their families and communities. In conclusion, handling financial matters in Islam entails adherence to principles of ethical conduct, economic justice, and social responsibility. By following these principles, Muslims can ensure that their financial affairs are conducted in accordance with Islamic teachings, benefiting themselves, their communities, and society as a whole. Islamic finance offers a holistic approach to wealth management, promoting financial well-being, social welfare, and spiritual fulfillment.